the first words that spring to mind is a, it's a love story in this strangely platonic and yet not platonic relationship they had for, I guess it was about 30 years. A very profound and life-altering friendship between the poets Robert Lowell and Elizabeth Bishop. I was thinking the other day and, and thinking about, it, it's sort of a play, if you'd, gone, if, you, if you'd read all the letters between Elizabeth Bishop and Robert Lowell, the entire correspondence, and then closed the book and had a long nap, I think the play is what you'd dream about. Sarah's background is as a poet. She is a huge fan of Elizabeth Bishop and has utterly honored all of their writing. All of the words in the play are Elizabeth Bishop's and Robert Lowell's. And I think she's done an incredibly masterful job of, of creating a very dynamic story of these two incredibly bright people and how they stimulated each other, pulled each other up uh, when they were down, cheered each other on, and really championed each other's work and championed each other's people. I love that sort of tough-minded, flinty you know, generosity. Uh, no, no, no time to wallow. Get up and write some poems. You're the best poet alive writing in the English language today. And, uh, and it was that sort of uh, prodding and goading to greatness that uh, moves me the most.